Every now and again, I think about what would it be like if I actually discovered a computer today which was running MS-DOS and I had no idea about basically what MS-DOS was. Imagine if it was like 1986 or 83 or something like that and I'd literally just got one of these machines and brought it home and I thought I can't really get myself to be like that because I can't unlearn the knowledge of DOS that I have. But I do know somebody else in my house that does. And well, this is the video of my partner, Christina, and her adventure into learning how to use MS-DOS. And the goal was to get burger time running, which I had, um, had said that the kind gentleman in the IBM store had preloaded on the hard drive for her before she picked it up. Let's watch and see how she got on. Well, you got it switched on. That's the start. Got the mouse there, have you? Got your manuals at the ready. <laughs> Going for the mouse? Wanted to scroll up. Okay. Wanted to scroll up. <clears throat> this is this is going to be interesting. Um, what's a file name? What are we looking for? I'm gonna I'm gonna have a beer. <laughs> we could be here a while. What are we looking for? Well, I I wanted to play burger time with you. How do I find a file? How do I look up the file? Well, look. Imagine this is 1982, which is when Burger Time came out, and, um, and you've just got a new PC. What would you do? Well, let's just say that um, the gentleman in, in the computer shop has graciously loaded your hard drive um, with, with Burger Time, with the game. Mm-hmm. He's given you all these manuals with your computer though. I would just go back and would be the poor little lady and say, Help. Is that right? Yeah. So you've just spent, <laughs> you know, well, how many thousand dollars? That's I why. Know. I think he could easily help me with that. Like six thousand dollars or something like that. These, these sold for a lot of money. Yeah, well, for things you're, you're, friend, you're, you're a rich girl. Help me. And they, look, the cat even wants to help out. <laughs> okay. Say hi to followers. Hi. <laughs> Guide operations personal computers. Mm. CT model 286. Oh, look, that's the same. Yeah. Maybe this can help CT. XT. All right. Okay, okay, the operations. It smells old. It, it smells, smells really old. Is it? Well, it's from 19... I think this this one, this book in particular is 86. Yes. There you go, August 1986. Cool. Switch it on. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Cool, nice. Introduction. Nah. What the lovely guy did already. The lovely guy. Yes, at the computer store. At oh, the computer for, store? For six grand, yeah. Uh-huh. Do you want to tell me anything else about this lovely guy? No. That you gave all your money to? Sounds, this sounds dodgy. There's a conversation <coughs> for another day. Okay. Are you going to go through every single one of these pages? Just FYI, because there's, you know, there's quite a few here. Just checking. This is all like the um, the operations guide, which is like how to you know, set up the, I guess the operations so that's of the machine. The right I, I don't actually like the terminology guide to operations because I feel like that would be the everyday operations yes, of the machine. Yes, that's what I. Thought. So I, I I kind of agree with you there. I think that you know that terminology. I got guided on the wrong way. 
I think that, yeah, IBM DOS. screwed you over. Yeah, what's DOS? Do you know what DOS is? The guy in the shop tell you about what DOS is? Um, it's the disk operating system. Ooh, get you. Um, just FYI, this, this PC has been um, provided to you with an upgraded version of the disk operating system. So you can actually choose the more modern version of the manual, which is there also to your left. So just, okay. I mean, this, this one will, will work, but this is for DOS version one. Um, which is which is a little bit of OD. I've actually got even newer a newer version than, than that version two that you have there. But let's just go with that for now. So we go for the newer version which is from let me have a look. look at this. Pages replaced 1983, old pages attached. Look at that cool. Very nice. This operating system by Microsoft Incorporated, January 1983. I was alive. Were you? No. Oh, look at that. Considerations for using applications. Oh. Dave Jones. PFS file, report writer. Accounting packages. These are the software that were kind of recommended by IBM when the PC first came out, and you can you can see they were pretty basic applications. Anyway, carry on. <laughs> Gonna need a new beer at this rate. <clears throat> That's a little bit like the Bible in, in, in church. When when have you been to church? A long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> if you went to church these days, would you like just burn out the door? I would probably um, have to stay two weeks for all the sins. For all the sins. The sins of DOS. All the sins of DOS, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Giving DOS a command. Type the command. What are the commands? Alright. What are the commands? Well, there's the format command. <laughs> I don't think you want to use the format command for some bizarre reason. Why do you think you don't want to use the format command? Because it's already format. Ooh, I'll give you that, fair enough. Do you want to copy your disk either? Nope, I don't want to back it up. You could be here a very long time. D type directory. Use oh, directory damn. Ready and A is displayed. Well, I think in our case it's actually C that's mm -hmm. going to be um, displayed. Okay. So what's the difference between a C and an A, do you know? Oh, it's just a um, different thing, not really. But do you know what the difference is between C and A? Still still relevant on a Windows PC to this very day, by the way. If yeah, I what point... A is like if I would use one of those. Uh -huh. It's just um... What A is one of those. Uh -huh. And if I said C, it was this one. It's like the internal storage. Which is called a... Uh... See, that's my problem, I don't know. Floppy, this. Und, right, and a hard drive. Yeah, there the you go. In this case, is our hard drive. Hey. We want to look for a file on our hard drive because I know the computer game is already on the hard drive. Hot damn! Because um, the lovely gentleman at the store told me he already set up, installed the the game for me. So I just need to find out where it is. So that's why I need the directory command. And in this case, it's on the hard drive, which is C. I would just do directory again. Mm -hmm. Watch the screen. Mm -hmm. um, so it does say uh, step five, watch the screen. Watch yeah, the screen. Great. Okay, I'm just going to put it around this way. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So directory. Ooh, that's really fast. I couldn't see all of this. Yes, very fast. <laughs> I 
What the hell? I don't know, I'm just trying a few things. Sorry. Items dot that? That's what it is. What the hell would that be? We've covered a lot in this chapter. Making a backup copy, doing a DIR, preparing your fixed disc. Raining. Okay. But not enough about DIR. This is tough stuff. We don't want to do a fixed disc. Here we go, directories. All right, okay, now we're into, now into directories. So there it's going, it's showing you the structure of a directory, see? So up there would be what? Up the top? My hard drive. You get C. so C, right? Or A if it was a floppy disk. And then all the different directories underneath it, you see? And there, here is a file, customer.lst and accounts.rec in the subdirectories according there to the picture, right? What do you want to find? I think because Burger Time is a game, mm -hmm. so I would like to find games. How do you know it's I, in a directory called Games? I don't. You don't. You're just having a. You I just, just guess. Have a guess. Mm. Yes. Mm. So I just try directory and then games. Well, maybe I'll find, look after game because if I look up game, I will find games as well, I reckon. Mm. But if I search for games, it won't include game. That's just a guess. I'm not quite sure. We have a look. Okay, no directory called game. Mm. Um, let's just see if there's directory games, just in case. Yes, there is. <laughs> oh. Mm, interesting, there's a 1982, as we know, Booker Time is from the year 1982. Okay. So we probably want to look into the directory, uh, into the file 1982. Mm -hmm. I reckon we want to change our directory oh. um, to 1982. Let's see if that works. CD for change directory, 1982. Okay, so that was wrong. So we do directory slash games slash 1982 because that's the one we want to open up. And then these are all the files that are in there. And I guess Burger TM is bigger time. Hey, hey, hey. So we've got our file, so how are we going to open it now? Well, have we got a file or have we got a directory? We've got a directory. Okay, so that's the directory you want to go to? Yes. Cool. So, so how, do you, get, um, how so, do you get into that directory? So we open this directory. So we do directory slash games slash 1982 slash burger. And then there's a bigger T axis, which mm. is a good test. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing here. This okay. is kind of learning by doing. This is great. This is this um, is the way that, this is this is the way I learned to use a computer. Learn by doing is exactly the way I learned. Okay. Um, I don't even know if I, I think I did have a manual for, for MS-DOS back in the day. Uh, probably quite like this, I think it was a, a Microsoft 3.2 one, Microsoft MS-DOS. So you've got the DIR, we don't want to delete, right? No, we don't want to create new set. We don't want to do an MKDAR or an MD, no. We don't want to delete one. What's this one here? Displaying and changing the current directory. This change directory CD command is used to tell DOS. Okay. 
So we want to get into this. And we want to change directory, I guess. Which directory are you in at the moment? Uh, Burger TM. Mm, are you? Oh no, uh, games. So what does it say on um, on the manual here? It's used to tell DOS which directory path it should remember as the current directory. The current directory is where DOS will look to find the files that are entered without path specifiers. So backslash. So if you do, if you do CD, just say CD on its own. That's the current directory. So C. Yeah. So you're not in Burger Ti, right? Um, on the hard drive. Uh huh. Boom. <laughs> what? No way. Well done. There we go. DOS Master. And that, ladies and gentlemen. And now you're going to see a Burger Time master. That is how you master DOS and Burger Time at the same time. German style. So from power on to playtime, it was probably around oh, 25 minutes give or take. What do you think? Do you think you could have done it any better? I think it was pretty difficult. You know, going back in time and looking at how far we've come in terms of user interface and so forth, really, we've come an awful long way. And it just goes to show how much we had to depend on things like manuals. It's way before Google and all the rest of that sort of stuff. And I can't think of how long it must have taken me to learn MS-DOS back in the day. But I was a kid and I sucked up these things pretty quickly. Being an adult and having to do it from scratch again, I don't know if I would have had the patience. I hope you've enjoyed this particular little offshoot of Al's Geek Lab. I thought it was a bit of a laugh. Well, that's about it for this Al's Geek Lab. I'll be back sometime very soon. In the meantime, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Because there's lots of great stuff coming up as well. Also, I really do appreciate it if you press the like button. And if you feel like spurning me on and giving me help with the channel, then you can donate on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Al's Geek Lab. And you can also get me here on YouTube by pressing the join button and being part of all the cool stuff that's coming out. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be excellent to each other.